reorganization and transition of the Department of Labor and Employment and formation of the Department of Migrant Workers has begun. And as our Kenneth Pashenta reports, the Department of Migrant Workers will subsume all affiliated offices and OFW services in line with right sizing the agency that its anointed chief vows to complete in due time. As an overseas Filipino worker in Hong Kong, it is a challenge for Teth to attend to the processing of documents. She shared there were times she had to go to and through many agencies. Napakahira para sa amin na tuwing day off namin is pumipila kami ng napakahaba at doon na lang na nauubos ang oras namin sa pag-aaskaso ng mga ganong bagay. To address these concerns of OFWs, the Department of Labor and Employment is making sure the newly created Department of Migrant Workers will be fully functional. This after Labor Secretary Bienvenido Laguesma and DMW Secretary Susan Oples signed a joint circular to ensure the smooth transition of both agencies. Under the joint circular, the DOLE will start transferring its attached agencies to the DMW. These include the POEA, Philippine Overseas Labor Offices, and OWA among others. The DMW admitted that the joint circular helps guide both agencies in their duties. Aside from the smooth transition, Secretary Ople stressed the importance of coordination and collaboration with the DOLE, especially in making sure the needs and concerns of OFWs are properly addressed. <laughs> For his part, like Guesma said, Dolly has started the transition to maintaining and improving customer service. And with migrant worker issues out of Dolly's hands, more time can be devoted to strengthening local employment. Gusto namin na magkaroon talaga ng maiting na pagtulog doon sa usapin may pinalaman sa ano ba ang pwede gawin ng Department of Labor Employment upang yung pangangailangan sa trabaho ng ating mga nagahanap ng trabaho kaya yung pinatawal natin na underemployed na gusto pang kumita pakakita ng mas magandang klase ng trabaho Secretary Ople added the streamlining the process in DMW will be addressed first before the issue of right sizing. While Dole Secretary Laguesma pointed out they will not turn their backs on those affected once right sizing is implemented by the agency. Those who will be affected should be given better benefits and then they can be relocated elsewhere. That is also part of the strategies to address this issue. As such, the DMW has started giving assistance to Filipinos in Macau affected by the COVID-19 surge. The agency sent food packs, COVID-19 care kits, and financial aid. The agency is also coordinating with the DFA in repatriating around 150 OFWs affected by the financial crisis in Sri Lanka. Kenneth Pashente for The Nation.